everything that you are doing, you think in your mind is absolute shit, right? Let me just read you a little bit of something that I actually ended up sharing with my personal friends, and I'm going to go ahead and share with you, if you don't mind. Give me a second. It's here somewhere. It says, I find when anyone engrosses themselves in the thing or things they're most passionate about, they become positive because there's nothing about their abundance they wish to negate. Let me just give you a second with that. Honestly, it logically makes sense because if you're feeling abundant, even if it's just emotionally abundant in what you do, there is no reason to negate that kind of positive feeling or that positive feedback or those positive results that you're getting if they are abundant. To do that would be self-destruction or self-sabotage, would it not? Let me read it again. It says, I find when anyone engrosses themselves in the thing or things they're most passionate about, they become positive because there is nothing about their abundance they wish to negate. If you're really passionate about something, it will eventually grow, whether it grows by itself, supposedly, or, um, or you grow it yourself. Think about that. Drink it in. By the way, I want to go ahead and show you something, which I think is freaking awesome, while you go ahead and drink that in. Let me just grab you. Yeah, buddy. Ooh. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and see if you see it. Ah, that's an awesome effect, right? Check that out. I'm just going to go ahead and paint a happy little Ross over here. And yes, that's actually the um, the caption I gave that photo, because I, I just thought that was so freaking hilarious. <laughs> Oh my god, let me just click on that again. I'm just going to paint a happy little Ross over here. <laughs> I mean, the irony, it's too much. If you've ever seen Bob Ross on television, like, you know, doing his paintings of landscapes and things like that, you'll hear him, you know, paint his paintings in a very mellow voice. He'll say, I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of magenta over here in the skyline. And then I'm just going to go ahead and, and paint a happy little tree over here. <laughs> so the tree is painting a happy little Ross over there. <laughs> I happen to find it hilarious, okay? If you're into art at all, you'll totally understand. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to break this baby out because, ooh, yeah, yeah. It's been a while since I have. I so do. Oh my God. I should do it this way instead of <clears throat> the other way because um, if I do it the other way, it's going to screw up because I got this right here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, give her a go. Should be uh, should be fun. I don't know. I'm attached to a wire. <clears throat> you know, I'd be a lot more awake, but I think I'm wired. Oh my God. <laughs> Yes, I feel like being silly. Get over it. I'm not just philosophical. I'm also silly. So, yeah. You're going to get to know me. And yeah, I love this freaking thing, bro. I'm totally doing it again. Oh, yeah. All right. That sounded awesome, right? <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I had a lot of beans. <laughs> I had some franks and beans. <laughs> With mush protruders and shit. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> I'm trying, but I'm laughing. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, seriously. <laughs> I swear, I'll try. <clears throat> <laughs> I hope 
almost had it. What? Don't laugh at me. All right, go ahead, laugh at me. I don't give a shit. <laughs> it's fun, right? <laughs> oh shit! I'm sorry. That gets me every time, dude. I'm like, dude, the fart noise. No. <clears throat> um, maybe if I just um get this baby up here, it might be better. I don't know. Here, my dude. Give me a second. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is so much fun, right? <laughs> Really? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goddess. I swear. Oh, the wind's in the waters. It does happen. Excuse it. <laughs> Dude, come on. At the end, it always sounds like a fart. I'm sorry. <laughs> I find that hilarious. I love that. When you screw up with a, a gauge, it sounds like a fart, and I swear it's fucking embarrassing, dude. <laughs> I suck at playing this thing. That's how you gotta do it, though. You gotta wet your lips, and you gotta do the... But it has to be, like, from the side of your mouth sort of like do that, it kind of sounds like a fart because it's a little bit too tight, so it's like, <laughs> oh, my bad, <laughs> it just sounds funny, dude, all right, well, holy cow, holy crap on a cracker, I think that, uh, I actually got a sound that didn't sound like a fart at the end, <gasps> Yay! Congratulations, me. Oh, lovely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, it still makes me laugh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I did that on purpose. That's what happens, though, when you do the that you're supposed to do, but from outside the mouth, like this. It sounds like a fart, because it's a little bit tight. It's like... <laughs> you know? It's crazy. Oh, freak's sakes. Mm -hmm. That's the sound you want to get. And yes, with that thought that I had shared with you today, I thought that I would end it in a low note. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. Blessed be. You will have a great day. And I think that's it for my overtiredness, unless I will come out with something else. By the way... Look at this awesome design on here. Isn't that cute? It's like a spiral, but a sun. Or like a sunflower. It could be maybe all three of those things. Ah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm really out this time. <laughs>